really have no idea who in China is in charge of picking brand names, <laughs> but they're failing at their job. <laughs> this is the Adorgan uh, binocular yeah. review, which the only reason that we bought this thing is because it is reviewed so it's highly Amazon on Amazon yeah. um, that we're like, all right, we got to give it a shot, right? Um, but we were pleasantly su surprised. This is actually a pretty quality binocular given the incredible price point of like 40 bucks. Yeah, and I, I think that's the point here is um, you can tell that there's something different about this one. Mm -hmm. Just you pick it up. It is so light. Mm -hmm. um, tells me that the optics in it are probably all plastic. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of the few that was listed that's not specifically waterproof. Mm -hmm. So there are some definite downsides to this. But when we actually used it, like, first of all, it's the same form factor as a lot of the other really good ones. So, I mean, and just usability, um, you know, it not being super picky when I look through it. I don't get just black spots everywhere when As I get slightly off axis, like you do with some of the others, like the Bushnells that are twice the price of these. And like, if you put these side by side with any of sort of that mid-tier binocular, like you can tell a difference. Mm -hmm. But considering these are 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah, you're getting a lot. I mean, yeah, that's, and I think that's the point here. So we reviewed a whole bunch of binoculars filling this table, and you should yeah. definitely check out that video uh, to see the kind of the, our highlights from the very fat, best ones. But that's the real question, I think, here. If you're spending under $100 on binoculars and that's just your budget, you should get these. They're they, better than the $90 ones. They are. They're, they're great. Uh, we tested some up to $100, and they were just better. Um, however... Binoculars are probably going to last you your whole life. And so if you can save up a little bit to spend a little bit more, um, something like the Carson is a significant step up. There's enough of a difference between them that if you were to totally blind me, whatever, and I were to just look through the eyepieces, I could tell which one oh, was absolutely. the most expensive I one. could tell. And I'm right. not the real optics guy here, you know? Um, it's right. noticeable. Whereas the difference between, you know, the these that are 150 and the more expensive ones is very minute, very tiny. We have to really analyze this, be looking at a lens target, kind of things like that. Right. But, but there's a good jump between these two. There's also a jump in price. Mm -hmm. um, but if you can go from 40 to 150, these are linked as well in the description and they're just a really great option. But right. you're still getting a lot here. You shouldn't feel like this is junk and you shouldn't buy it. They're right. good. Exactly. So who is this for? This is, we've said this, like I'm taking the kids to Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. I want something that's going to allow me to see the bison a little bit better. Yeah, right? you're a hunter and you just, that's your budget. Right, that's okay. that too. Uh -huh. But like, even if I'm like going bird watching or something, the difference in clarity and the difference in sharpness, I should say, between the two of these this, that eagle might blend into the cliffside. Yeah. This one, I'm probably going to be able to tell. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to see it a lot better. Um, this one, like I mentioned that this one is, you know, not as picky when you're off axis and stuff. But realistically, this one's better. Even better. You yeah. know, like you just do get what you pay for moving from this low tier to the mid tier. But again, if this is what your budget allows, this is the best option that we have found. And we tried a few in the lower, under $100. And the build quality is quite nice. It's yeah. the optics that are the issue. Right. And it, it's, again, still very good. But it's, it has a nice rubberized coating on it. I don't feel like this is going to break if I drop yeah. this or something. It feels like a very solid. The focus ring is a little stiff, but still well designed. Like, it, it's a quality binocular here. And I think you're going to do just fine I would it. point out one more thing. Um, if you're considering these two options and you look at this and say, well, this is a 12X and this is a 10X magnification. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> like, isn't that better? I can see bigger. The reality was like, the that's number there is a, is a bit <laughs> of a range, right? And when I look through these two binoculars, it doesn't look better. It no, doesn't look bigger. It doesn't. Like I get, a, I get a better view of what I'm looking at through these than I do through these, even though this has a higher magnification. Right. So that is our review of the Adorgan, but definitely go check out our larger review of a whole bunch of binoculars so you can get our very best picks.